Hi everyone. In this video I'm going to discuss curtain shutters of single lens reflex cameras. First we should describe exactly what a curtain shutter is and how they work. For this I'm going to take a look at the Olympus OM-1 camera. And we'll take a look at the type of shutter that you, you find within it. This is a curtain style shutter of the horizontal type. When I say that, that means that there's actually a cloth vein that moves across the film plane opening to uh, expose the film. The film lies right here. The, the cloth in there actually pulls out of the way to open the shutter and then a second cloth comes from behind and closes the shutter. You can tell a horizontal plane shutter when you cock the camera. You can actually see it move to the side getting ready and even though it's hard to see the two curtains actually slide across leaving kind of a gap which is used to expose the film. The distance of that gap is the actual exposure time. So fast exposures actually have the two curtains almost following each other very closely leaving a narrow slit that sweeps across the film plane. If we take a look at another type of camera look at the uh, Nikon here. It's a Nikon EM from the 70s. And you can see that it's shutter. You can see it's, it looks different when you look at it. It has actual veins inside it that slide up and down. And this is what we would call a vertical shutter in that the vein slides down to open the shutter and then the second vein follows behind to close the shutter. So it's a different style and again you can see it as you wind it it pulls the one vein up out of the way and the other vein is 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 now ready to open. When you when you press the shutter it's hard to see again but the two veins slide up and down out of the way to expose the film. There are various other cameras that use curtain shutters. This Canon AE-1 here for an example it also has a cloth curtain shutter. Again, you can see it slide over to the right when it's cocked and it slides back over to the left when the uh, film is exposed. The older Pentax also uses a cloth shutter. Again, you can it's wound already. You can see that the cloth shutter moves out of the way to the right. Um, older cameras from the 70s and even probably into the 80s use these cloth type shutters. To get higher speeds though they found that the vertical shutter is faster and it's lighter and it can uh, be used to get higher sp shutter speeds. So newer cameras typically have the vertical style of shutter. Sometimes you'll find something like a retina here. This is a retina reflex and even though it's a uh, single lens reflex camera, it really doesn't have a curtain style shutter. The shutter is still built into the lens. Um, it's a little bit of a tricky uh, system in the reflex, but it really is not a curtain shutter. Now I'd like to discuss the sensor used in measuring the curtain shutter speeds with the Focron XA shutter speed tester. The sensor used is a dual sensing device it has four sensors total, but they're used in pairs, two for the horizontal and two for the vertical type shutters. The um, sensors are placed at the edges of the film plane so that you can take a measurement of when the shutter first opens at one edge and opens at the other edge and determine that speed at which that curtain is traveling. To select which of the two sensors are being used, there's a slide switch on the back of the uh, of the sensor block and that is used to determine whether or not you're going to use the vertical or the horizontal uh, sensor pair. Why is it important to measure the curtain travel time? Well, if you think about it, the travel time across the film plane will determine the evenness of exposure. So if you're shutter curtains are moving at different speeds it might open up wider at one edge of the film plane than the other meaning that the film will see more light at one edge than the other and this could create uneven exposures and dark spots on the on the uh, actual finished picture 
So it's important to measure that and you can't get that with a single sensor. You will only be able to just get the actual time as measured at the very center of the film plane, which is an important number and it can be used um, with the Focron XA single sensor test to get you in a, a, a good exposure number, but it will, will not tell you if the curtains are moving linearly across the film plane. Well that wraps it up for this video describing curtain shutters and how they can be tested. Take a look at my other videos to see how to interpret the data that you receive when you're testing a curtain shutter. Thanks for looking.